Hello and welcome to TGV News broadcasting on Tenen Radio and Television Station with some latest events in Tenen Province. Ladies and gentlemen, from the beginning of June July 2022, businesses, economic organizations, business households and individuals have been required to use an invoice and up to now, all of them have completed the application of an invoice. The implementation of e-invoice is determined as one of the key and important tasks to be completed by the tax sector in 2022 in order to contribute to promoting the digital transformation of businesses, organizations, as well as administrative agencies. And by the end of 2022, there are 7,778 units under the tax department which have successfully registered and used e-invoices. The application of e-invoices contributes to transforming the way of serving the people management and implementation of the tax authorities in the direction of automation, facilitation, cost reduction, and increased operational productivity of enterprises. In the coming time, the tax department will continue to promote the encouragement of consumers to receive invoices when buying goods and services, to manage the business revenue, avoid tax loss, and at the same time, create a habit of civilized consuming, buying goods with legal invoices and documents, protecting the interests of buyers. In Encourage the sellers to buy invoices with tax authorities' costs and thereby ensuring the double benefits for both tax authorities and taxpayers, helping traders to make tax payments more simply, avoid the case of false declaration or not self declared. Digital transformation is one of the contents supported by the tax department to facilitate taxpayers. A tax mobile electronic tax payment service is an electronic tax application for mobile devices. The tax department has implemented from March 2022 to support individual taxpayers on mobile devices. This service suspends support creating more favorable conditions for taxpayers to register for an online electronic transaction account, promote the implementation of the government's policies on non-cash payment, integrating electronic tax payment on the e-tax mobile application of the General Department of Taxation with banks including HD Bank, BITV, Vietcom Bank, and in order to create favorable conditions for taxpayers in registering transaction accounts and paying taxes electronically on the e-tech mobile application to commercial banks connecting the bank's payment function, the tax department has deployed a roadmap deploying connections with commercial banks in stages to ensure the completion of the plan. In 2022, the situation of the COVID-19 epidemic was controlled. The facilities also promoted production and business to ensure adequate supply to serve consumers. This is also an opportunity for the subject to take advantage to commit violations of smuggling, commercial fraud, and counterfeit goods. The market management teams managing the area strengthened their grasp of the situation, closely followed the area, inspect, control, and strictly handle according to the provisions of law when detecting signs of violations. Therefore, the total revenue and payment to the state budget was over 5.6 billion Vietnam dong, exceeding the target set out in 2022 by 113.4%. During the year, a commitment signing was made not to trade in small goods, not to produce, store or trade in banned goods, cultivated goods, goods infringing upon intellectual property rights, poor quality goods and goods that do not ensure food safety for business establishments. In the coming time, the Provincial Department of Market Management will continue to implement seriously and effectively solutions to combat smuggling, commercial fraud, and cultivated goods, in which focusing on implementing the peak plan to combat smuggling, trade fraud, and cultivated goods on the occasion before, during, and after the Lunar New Year of the rabbit in 2023, plan to inspect business activities in the area of Baden Motion Spring Festival on the occasions of the Lunar New Year of the rabbit in 2023. 
the audience in order to improve the quality of tourism services and have visitors have more wonderful experiences when visiting and worshipping at Baden Mountain in Denin, Sunroof has invested in Hoa Dong Tam An Kepo Karut, leading directly from Ba Pagoda area to the top of the mountain, attracting a large number of tourists to use and experience the service. This is one of the steepest cable car routes in the world. Officially put into operation on January the 1st, the cable route has a total length of over 1,200 meters. The difference between the two stations is nearly 440 meters, and the average slope of the whole route is about 32 degrees. It slopes up to 45 degrees. And with this special slope, Hoa Dong Tung and Cable Car Route will take visitors from Barbacota over steep cliffs to the top of Badang Mountain, the roof of the south, in just about five minutes. It currently has 76 cabins with shelf and modern design, which can meet a large number of tourists visiting Badang Mountain tourist area during the holidays and the dead if. And currently, the round trip ticket price for Hoa Dong Tam and Cable Car Route is about 250,000 Vietnam Dong per adult ticket and 250,000 Vietnam Dong for the child ticket. In addition, the Sun World Banang Mountain is also implementing many preferential programs on tickets, with combo tickets for three capital roads, just about 550,000 Vietnam Dong per adult ticket and about 400,000 Vietnam Dong per child ticket. These combo tickets will help visitors to have a big premise and self content tour, experience most of the famous stories and spiritual sites of Badang Mountain in the province. Meanwhile, during the New Year holidays in 2023, when coming to Badang Mountain National Tourist Area, along with visiting pagodas and unique spiritual architectural works, visitors could also immerse themselves in the exciting atmosphere of folk art forms imbued with the identity of Tenen Land. These performances were held on first time ramps and plastic from December 30, 31st, 2022 to January 1st, 2023, right at the Manx Station. Here, visitors could enjoy Chisholm Drum Dance, a unique art form of Khmer ethnic people, recognized as a national intangible cultural heritage with from beach and skillful dancers. In addition, visitors could also enjoy the London Trade Dance, a type of folk performance associated with the belief of modern goddesses of the southern people, and also indispensable activities in the worshipping ceremony of Linsung Thanmo, the main worship god on Baden Mountain, making many visitors quite interested. Recently, Bavik Tenen Life held a ceremony to receive the title of the best life insurance enterprise in Vietnam and the outstandingly innovative life insurance enterprise in 2022, chosen by the global banking and finance magazine on May the 1st of 2022. Bavik Life is the only life insurance company in Vietnam with a network of 76 companies covering all 63 provinces and cities nationwide. In 2022, it's a special milestone for Bavik Life, marking the 26th Chia journey of pioneering in opening and developing with the life insurance market in Vietnam. At the ceremony, the delegates were shared by financial experts with investment solutions, risk management, bringing the peace and happiness to birthday gifts, rewards for customers who have participated in life insurance for many years, and awarded the promotion program luck at the end of the year and at the beginning a prosperous year. Ladies and gentlemen, 2022 is the second year of implementing the resolution of the 13th Party Congress and the resolution of the 11th Provincial Party Congress in the context of misadventures, difficulties and challenges. But with great efforts and high determination of the whole political system, economic status and people of all classes, the inheritance and development of achievements over the tenors, the province's social economy achieved positive, comprehensive results with many outstanding highlights. For the first time in many years, 100% of basic social economic targets met and exceeded the resolution set for of which 9 out of 9 economic targets exceeded the targets set by the resolution in 2022. The social economic achievements in the past year are around, creating a solid remise to enter the new year 2023.
In 2022, Jinan's economy was recovered quickly. GDP increased by 9.56%, exceeding the set plan, higher than the average growth rate of the whole country, ranking 16 out of 63 cities and provinces, leading among eight provinces and cities in the southern key economic region. GDP per capita is estimated at 3,700 US dollar, exceeding the set plan. The scale of the economy rose to rank the 28 out of 63 provinces and cities. Export turnover increased by 25.9% over the same period, reaching 6.4 billion US dollar, exceeding the plan. This is the year with the highest export level ever, ranking 12 out of 60 red provinces and cities, and having a trade surplus for five consecutive years. Total retail sales of goods and service revenue increased by 25.5%, exceeding the plan. The tourism industry developed impressively, but in terms of revenue and number of visitors, the total revenue increased by 130% to 1,400 billion Vietnam dong, and the number of tourists reached 4.5 million visitors, an increase of 200%. But then Mountain National Tourist Area has become one of the top five attractive destinations and attracts the largest number of tourists in the country. The total state budget revenue by the end of December 29, 2022 was more than 12,000 billion Vietnam dong, reaching 130.1% of the central estimate and reaching 120.5% of the estimate assigned by the provincial business council up 16.4% along with period. Domestic investment attraction increased by 36.1% over the same period. Newly established enterprises increased by 15.5%. Reduced capital increased by 70%. This is a good sign for the recovery of production and business of enterprises. Accumulated foreign investment attraction by 2022 attracted 370 projects with a total capital of 9.2 billion US dollar, ranking 15 out of 63 provinces and cities in terms of high foreign investment attraction. Disbursement of public investment capital reached 96.97% of the plan assigned by the Prime Minister. Reaching 97.36% of the plan assigned by the Provincial Appeals Council, this is a positive and significant result in the context that the disbursement of public investment capital in the country is still facing many difficulties. The new rural construction program has completed its plan. Culture society continues to change positively. Social security is guaranteed. 2022 is the second consecutive year that Tinan is in the group of five provinces and cities with the lowest poverty rate in the country. Administrative reform, investment environment, a digital transformation continue to receive attention and positive changes. National defense and security are consolidated. Political security and social order are maintained, performing well in foreign affairs, including successfully organizing meetings and exchanges with neighboring Cambodian provinces on the occasion of the 55th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Vietnam and Cambodia, building the border world peace, friendship, and cooperation. Based on the assessment of the situation and results in 2022, both in terms of achievements as well as limitations and situation assessment, in 2023, the Provincial Appeals Committee has determined objectives, targets, tasks, and solutions suitable to the situation, capacity, resources, and expression of determination and striving of the locality. It is believed that with the unanimity, consensus, and symmetry of the whole political system, the support of the entire people, the Indian province will successfully implement the resolutions of the Provincial Party Committee and of the Provincial People's Council in 2023. That's all for today's news. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.